forgot my scissors were there. Hello. Hey there. You want to see something fascinating? <laughs> yeah, that was a terrible joke. We're making a fascinator today, and I thought I would be funny, but it didn't work super well. Okay, yeah, welcome. So I have an obsession with little bitty hats. I think they're phenomenal, and I want to own like 50 million of them, but I can't afford them. I've been in like constant eBay battles trying to get a hold of some, but I'm always outbid because I'm actually broke. I get really vicious, I get in there and I'm like, bid, 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 and then I lose. But yeah, anyways, I decided that I could make my own. Who gave me the authority? I don't know. I've been watching a lot of videos online and I feel very confident in my ability to make my own, so that's what this video is. I think it's going to be a little informative, but it's also just kind of me trying to figure it out. Uh, well, let's get started. So all the supplies you're going to need, I'm going to place here for you and there you go the first thing is going to be this wire this is six gauge wire i believe oh, this is like a little bit smaller than like a, a wire hanger would be that's kind of what you need i also have smaller wire that i think i'm going to use for other bits but this is what we need for right now so you're going to want to take this wire and make it to you, the size you want for your hat I'm just going to do like a good six inch hat, I think that's perfect. And then you want to cut that off of there. I don't have my wire cutters right now, so, ah, uh, oh no, that did not, did not, oh my gosh, ooh, okay, cool. Now you want to kind of smooth this out a little bit so it's easier to work with. Amazing, yes. Sweet. Okay. There we go. And once you kind of have it in a nice circly shape, you're going to get some tape. I've also seen people use some of that um, wax, like cord wax. It's like for making bracelets and they wrap it around there, which is probably more effective, but I don't have any of that right now. So we're just going to use this tape I got from the USPS store. Wow. Yeah, they definitely ripped me off so hard on this. This was $4. And it's not even like a full roll. It's like a little bitty roll of it. But they knew it. They knew I needed it because I went in there and I had already wrapped my package, but I guess I didn't tape it good enough. And they were like, mm, yeah, not going to work. I was like, what do you mean? They're like, not good. I was like, okay. Like, do you have tape I can borrow? And they were like, no. But... So we have a deal for you. For just $4, you can get yourself a mini roll of tape right here, right now. And they kind of put me in a situation. I didn't really have a choice, so I bought it. But you know what? It's fine. They need, they need support, you know. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not bitter. All over. So you're gonna just tape it. Alright, boom. We have a circle. Um, so next you're going to need some bias tape. You can either make it or pick it up from your local mom's garage. You know, just wherever you have bias tape, wherever you're from. <laughs> so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some of your glue. I'm using Gemtac because it's just like a really great all-purpose glue. Like you can literally glue anything with this stuff because it's made for bedazzling stuff. You gotta have some strong stuff for that. Or you could probably use like E600, just something strong. Don't use hot glue, please. Look at me, look at me right now. I don't care what you believe. Do not use hot glue. It sucks, it's gonna fall apart. Don't be tempted. This is not an arts and crafts project. This is a serious fascinator, okay? If you use hot glue for it, I'm gonna find you. Okay? Okay, great. Cool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just wrap our bias tape around our metal piece. Oh my gosh, I lost it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yep, so you're gonna take your bias tape, you're just gonna wrap it around, and we're gonna use our gem tag, not hot glue, and it's gonna be good. Coming round the head when she comes. She'll be coming around the head when she comes. 
She'll be coming around the head. She'll be coming around the head. She'll be coming around the head when she comes. When she comes. When she comes. All right, we have a finished circle. Now we're just going to make the little circle the inside part, which is traditionally made out of crinoline, but because I don't have any crinoline, we're gonna use tool. I don't know how this is gonna work, so if it fails, we fail together. And you know what? That's all that matters. Not even mad about it. So you wanna cut out a rectangle. It's about six inches six inches tall and then you want it to be as wide as your circle is so just like measure around it and you want the edges to overlap because we're going to glue those two edges down to one side get your glue going and you're just gonna glue it I'm darn it all right so update on what's happening the glue is not working at all to glue the two pieces together, so we're going to hand stitch it. After struggling to thread my needle, I finally got it done, and then I just sewed the rectangle together. After you finish hand stitching that together, you're just going to insert your circle in the middle of it, like, like so and you want to try to even it out the best you can and then you're going to flip it to one side so basically it's just wrapped around the part that you wrapped the binding around and then you have this a little crown and honestly you could totally stop here if if this is what you were going for and you're completely sat satisfied you can just stop here you know you could put some glitter on that or something and there you go but because we're dedicated, we're gonna keep going. The next step is you wanna to try to make sure this is even because you're gonna be sewing this together. So just kind of like feel it out. Wow, I actually did a really good job. Wow, crazy, okay. And now we're gonna go, ooh, that's not enough thread. Then we're gonna go back to our hand sewing needle because we love hand sewing. And so around the whole top part of this just do like a nice basting stitch because we're going to be pulling it tight hi it's many hours later i took a little break to play um among us with some of my pals it was very important stuff but i did finish sewing around this so what i did was i just did my by my basting stitch all the way around the top and then i took the two bolton threads and i'm gonna pull them together until it does this how cool is that? Girl, that's a booty hole. Not a hole, Keisha. A hat. So this is going to act as our UFO. <laughs> like the base, this is the base of our hat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this as tight as possible and then we're gonna tie it. So now that we have our flying saucer frisbee hand cake thing, we're gonna make some fun toppings top is toppings the right word i don't know but i have this really cool tool flower that i like to make i like to put it on dresses and stuff but i think it'll look really cute on here so we're gonna do it um okay so the first step is you're gonna take your tool and you're gonna fold it over itself you want to have four layers basically so we're gonna fold it in half and then in half again. And then you wanna smooth this out. And then you're going to take a bunch of circle. You have a bunch of circles. I already have these pre-cut because I use them all the time. But you wanna start out at varying sizes, just depending on how big you want your flower to be. So then you're just going to put your patterns on top and cut it out so then you have four pieces. This is what they all look like. Here are all my circles. So you got all your little circly boys all cut out. You are going to take off your paper so you don't accidentally cut this. And you're gonna make sure they are all lined up and you're going to cut it into little petals. So we're gonna cut one, two, ooh, that was kind of big, oops, three, four, and five. 
five. And they don't have to be perfect. It's a flower. It's an organic organism. It's not going to be perfect. And then, boom, you have that. Okay, the next step is to, ew, I'm not even a brunette anymore. Take your favorite candle. Mine happens to be Midnight Blue Citrus from Bath and Body Works. This candle just smells like happiness. It's so good. Okay, anyways, light your candle. What you're going to do now is you're going to burn two of every single one, like out of each set. Okay, so you just want to burn the edges like... Then, after you have adequately burned your fingers as well as your petals, you're going to sew them together in order from biggest to smallest. So you do like the four big ones, then the four medium ones, and so on. So I then went ahead and attached the flower directly to our hat base. And then I decided to make some little tentacle-like things to stick out of the top. I don't even know what else to call them. <laughs> They're like little like flower tentacles. So I just wrapped a wire with some bias tape and then I wrapped that bias tape with some like fuzzy cord. And then to the top of that I just attached some fake flowers I already had and it looked really cute. And I can communicate with aliens better so pretty helpful. Okay, so it's the next day <coughs> because it got really late last night. It was like 3 in the morning, and I was like, I probably should go to bed because I had to work today. So I went to work. I just got off, and now we're going to finish it finally. It's almost done. So we have everything attached to the top. Now we just have to figure out how to attach this. <laughs> it's like one of those little, like, it actually came off of an old crown, but I didn't like the crown. It was kind of ugly. So I made the wires look like that, and I'm just going to sew it on. Then we're going to do the final reveal. I think it's going to be... it's going to be okay. Yeah. I don't know. My parents just called me to tell me that they're coming over to pick me up to go to eat in like five minutes and I'm, I am not ready at all. I am far too overdressed to go to Ruby Tuesday. Apologies for the super abrupt ending, but when I hear free food, I don't question it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I definitely would recommend using crinoline if you want a hat that's going to last longer and be a little bit more structured. The tool worked though, honestly, like I'm pretty impressed with how it turned out. So if you only have tool, just go for it. It's not that bad. Definitely not going to last forever, I don't think. But I am really happy with the way it turned out. And I'm officially one step closer to bringing the Fascinator back into style. So if you want to join the revolution, definitely make one of your own. And we will be known as heroes. But yeah, that's all I have. Uh, thank you for watching. And stay classy, my friends.